Please join me in your s h o w Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Naman loves the man loves the man loves the man loves the man loves. Naman loves the man loves the man loves. Well, good morning, everyone.、Uh, I hope you are doing well. And I wanted to first begin、uh, by thanking you for inviting me to your lovely fall Ohigan service.、Uh, unfortunately, we're still unable to make it、uh, in person, but I certainly wish to one day come to your temple again.、Uh, I've been at Berkeley、uh, Temple many times, and I have nothing but fond memories there. And、um, it's been some time since I last been over there, but Uh, I definitely look forward to the day that I can see you guys all again.、Um, I do work at the Institute of Buddhist Studies, the IBS, just right over the wall over there.、Uh, so, hopefully, when things go back into person,、um, I will become a familiar face and,、uh, and hopefully we will、uh, be able to see each other in person.、Okay. So,、um, today is the Fall Ohigan service. <clears throat> Excuse me.、Um, but、uh, in order to get into the spirit of this upcoming holiday,、um, Halloween, right? There's Halloween is another、uh, upcoming holiday that's coming up. And so,、um, in this holiday spirit, I know it's a tad bit early,、uh, but I want to tell you、um, a scary story, okay? Scary story. Well, it's not really scary, okay?、Uh, but it's an interesting story、uh, that I would like to share with you、uh, today. And、um, this story takes place. In Japan, in a place called Yoshizaki, Japan. Yoshizaki, Yoshizaki. Yoshizaki is not really a famous city, huh? You don't really hear about it too much. But、um, perhaps if I said that it was north of Kyoto, it might give you some kind of idea of more or less where it is, okay? Yoshizaki, Japan. And then this takes place in 15th century Japan. 15th century, okay? So,、um, but in order to tell you this story, I'm going to need. Um, a little bit of help. Okay, I need a special friend、uh, to help share、uh, this story. Okay, and his name is Grover. Okay, Grover. Grover, hey, how are you doing today? Oh, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today?、Uh, I'm doing very well. Uh,、um, Uh, so, Grover and I, we have Dharma t- messages、uh, together. We have Dharma discussions. And、uh, usually, what we do is we talk and we kind of just chit chat and just, uh, uh, just kind of talk about、uh, Buddhist principles and these kinds of things. And he kind of helps me out、uh, here and there. And so, I thought I'd、uh, introduce him to you guys today. I am definitely not stealing off of any other minister. This is my own idea, purely my own idea. So I'm going to take full credit for this, okay? <laughs> But anyway,、uh, so Grover, how are you doing today? Oh, very good, very good. Oh, very good, very good. Uh, so uh,、um, how is,、uh, how, what were you doing up until this point? Well, I was,、uh, I was making some pumpkin pie. Do you like pumpkin pie? Yes, I do, actually. I, I am a big fan of pumpkin pie. That's great. Okay, in this, in this fall season. Yes, that's right. That's right. You know, I also like to eat、um, kaki. Oh, kaki. So you know, you know about kaki. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Well, but, but why, wouldn't I, why wouldn't I know about kaki? Well, you know, I just, I, I, I don't, don't, don't act like you know me, okay? Just because I'm blue doesn't mean I don't know about kaki. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't, I, I, I shouldn't have assumed. Yes, kaki is very delicious. Yes, very much so. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, wait. Something's different about this crowd. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a very good observation, Grover. Today, actually, we're at the Berkeley Buddhist Temple. Oh, that is very wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Berkeley Buddhist Temple. Is that so? Yeah, actually, that's, that's very true.、Uh, so, in the spirit of Halloween, I thought we were going to talk about you know, this,、uh, this scary story about the legend of the, the Yoshizaki mask. Oh, that is wonderful. That is great. Okay. Well, as with、uh, any other time that I have a chat with Reverend Miyagi, I'd like to warm up the crowd with a little joke. Yes, a little joke. Okay. Um, um, Grover, um, the crowd, I don't think, really wants to hear like a joke right now. So、uh, maybe we'll do that at some other time. You know, I think you did, you kind of ran its course with the knock knock jokes that we did at SACBC and, and all those dad jokes and the one liners. No, 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 no. No, 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 but this one is good. Trust me. <sighs> okay, all right. Well, you're not going to do like some like fart joke or anything like that, right? No, of course not. We have, we have guests here today. What are you thinking about? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. 
Here, uh, you could go ahead and give your joke. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, do you have a Band-Aid? A Band-Aid? Uh, yes, a Band-Aid. No, I, I, I don't have a Band-Aid. Okay, well, ask me why I uh, need a Band-Aid. Uh, well, uh, why do you need a Band-Aid, Grover? Because I'm cut. <laughs> yes, yes, cut, cut like muscles, you know? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, um, yeah, as you can see, the crowd isn't really laughing, Grover. Okay, okay, wait, 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 I have another joke. Okay, you know, I'm actually really starting to sweat over here, you know? <laughs> it's not just the lighting, it's okay, we're, we're kind of killing it over here. Uh, okay, okay, well, okay, this one is good, though. Okay, all right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Show you. Show you, show you who? Show you, think you can tell a funny knock knock joke, eh? <laughs> uh, you know, actually Grover, you know, okay, let's just stop there and just right and we just go right into the story, okay? Why, that was hilarious. <laughs> well, today, okay, anyway, I think we're gonna go into the story. And today we're going to talk about the legend of the mask of Yoshizaki. Oh, what, too, too early? Too early? Yeah, a little bit too early, okay? I haven't even gone into the story yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so this is a story involving the eighth head priest of the Nishi Honganji, of the Honganji, okay? And his name is Denyo Shonin. Denyo Shonin. Yeah, do you know where Denyo Shonin might be? Hmm, where is Denyo Shonin? He's right behind you! Ah! No, actually, he's right over there. Oh, right over there. Then you're showing, oh, that's who he was. I always wondered who that was. I thought it might have been like your dad or something. That's not my dad. Does that look like my dad? Well, no, not really, but... Yes, okay, so that's Denyo Shonin. Denyo Shonin. Yes, the eighth head priest, okay? Oh, very good, very good. Okay, so uh, uh, if it wasn't for Denyo Shonin, actually, our Honganji tradition would probably not have existed. And as a matter of fact, Joda Shinshu in America probably would not have existed. That's how big of a character he was. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and actually, you know, everybody in the country knew who Denyo Shonin was. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And uh, in back in the day in Japan during the 15th century, they would have these large temples called Betsuing or Gobo. And at these temples, they would build villages around them. And they were so big and they had so many followers that they would build villages around these temples. And they became known what's called as Tera Machi, tem tep uh, temple towns, you know, kind of like we have, you know, college towns of UC Berkeley or UCLA, these kinds of things. I won't acknowledge Stanford, but <laughs> kind of like as we have these college towns, you know. Oh, yes, that is a very good analogy. That's very easy to understand. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of like that. So, okay, would you like to start with the story? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so once upon a time in the outskirts of Yoshizaki, Japan. There lived a farmer by the name of Kyo. Okay, so just to give you an example, Kyo. Oh, look, very cute young lady. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Kyo-chan, okay, Kyo-san. Unfortunately, Kyo's husband and child died, and it was just Kyo and her mother-in-law who lived together. Kyo was very saddened by her loss, so she would frequent the nearby temple called Yoshizaki Gobo, Yoshizaki Temple. Yeah, that's right. And over time, Kyo would spend many of her days listening to the Dharma talks given by Denyo Shonin. But Kyo's mother-in-law hated Buddhism, okay? Let me show you a picture of Kyo's mother-in-law. Okay, so she hated Buddhism. And after some time, she decided she would make Kyo stop going too. And in order to do so, she would give Kyo last minute chores to do around the house. Mother, is it okay if I go to hear Denyo speak? First, you must ground a pound of rice to dust before you can go, Kyo's mother would say, right? 
And when Kiyo would finally do her chores, she would go off to Yoshizaki Gobo, to the temple, okay? And she would go off there and she would uh, go to listen every night uh, to Denyo Shonin. But every night that she asked, asked her mother-in-law if she can go, her mother would give her harder and harder tasks to do. Okay, and then she would work very hard and do all of her chores. And then she would run over to the temple and listen to Denyo Shonin, okay? So Kyo's mother was so frustrated that she couldn't stop Kyo from going to the temple, right? Is there nothing I can do, she thought. I got it. I, I got it. Kyo leaves for the temple in the evening. So one of these nights, I will dress up in a scary costume and I will scare her into not going to the temple anymore. Brilliant! <laughs> so one night, Kyo then decides to go to the temple and their mother puts on a scary mask of, uh, that resembled like devil, devil or a goblin, okay? So she hides out in the, uh, the woods, right? And, and waits for Kyo to come, okay? So she sees, she sees Kyo coming. La 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 la, right? Right? I will eat you alive. Ah! Ah! So she runs away. Kyo runs away, okay? And then Kyo's mother-in-law is very pleased with the outcome. She says, that'll show her my plan worked perfectly. <laughs> oh, but I better go home and take off this costume before she finds out. So the mother hurries back to the house. And she tries to take off the mask, but she notices something. The mask, it's stuck. The mother pulls and pulls, but it won't come off of her face. She pulls harder and harder, but nothing. She pulls so hard that it feels like she's starting to peel the muscles off of her skin. That's hard she pulled. That's, hard. That's how hard she pulled. No, what do I do? Kyo will be coming home any minute now. She tries everything to get the, and so she tries everything to get this mask off, but it, but it wouldn't come off. And finally, Kyo then comes home. And so she sees this same mask again. Ah! Wait a minute. Why is the goblin crying? And so she finds that her mother-in-law is crying, okay? All these props, man. And so the mother-in-law says, I'm so sorry. I wanted to scare you, but so you wouldn't go to the temple anymore. But now I can't get this mask off. What should I do? Says Kyo's mother, right? We have to go to go see Denyo Shonin. He will know what to do. So the two go off to Yoshizaki Gobo to see what Denyo Shonin would say. And so the mother talks to Denyo Shonin. I hope you can see this. I know it's a bad picture, but it's a very small picture of Denyo Shonin. And Denyo Shonin tells the mother to say the Nembutsu genuinely and intently, and the mask will come off, okay? My sweat is getting into my eyes. <laughs> okay, so she says the Nembutsu intently. <laughs> So she says the nimbutsu intently, namandavs, 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 and finally the mask comes off, right? And she returns back to her original face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, so she comes back to her regular face, right? And so um, she rejoices. Yay, I'm very happy. Thank you, Denyo sama. Thank you, Denyo sama, right? And she was truly sorry that she hated Buddhism before and that she doubted its true message. And so from then on, Kyo and her mother-in-law became good friends, right? They became good friends. And they went to go to hear Denyo's teachings together at the Yoshizaki Gobo, okay? And so this is the story of the mask of Yoshizaki, which is actually called Tsuma Odoshi no Nikuzuki no Men, okay? And so the mask, 
is actually still at the temple and it is on display. If you go there, you can see the mask for yourself. This story is widely known by uh, the people there and it is known for about 400 years. That's right, Grover, yep. So what do you think is the point of this story, Grover? I don't know, it's a kind of a scary story, but it's not the, the, the meaning isn't really too clear, huh? That's right. Well, the mother-in-law tried very hard to stop Kyo from going to listen to the Buddha Dharma. She hated Buddhism and felt that this teaching was not true. This is symbolized as the scary mask. The scary mask that the mother put on. And the mask stayed on because she was mean and scary to Kyo all the time. Her true feelings came out and showed on her face which is the ugly, scary mask. Oh, so scary. Right? But once the mother fully and intently embraced the Nimbutsu, especially after the fact that she felt completely helpless of her situation, and she felt there was nothing else she can do other than to trust in the Nimbutsu teaching, then the mask fell off, right? Then the mask fell off, and she returned to her original self. In other words, the mother saw that what she was doing was keeping the truth from spreading. And after realizing the error in her ways, she now becomes one of the biggest supporters and devout followers of the Nimbutsu teaching. Her and Kyo's relationship improved because of this Nimbutsu teaching, okay? Wow, what a fascinating story. You know, in a way, we all wear masks every day of our lives. I think we just need to be aware that they exist and that the only true time we can be truly ourselves is in the presence of the Buddha. Amida Buddha accepts us all just as we are. That's right, Grover. I'm glad we were able to talk about this story today about the legend of the mask of Yoshizaki. Well, I think that about does it for us today, uh, but I hope everybody had a nice Ohigan time. And remember, this is the time of year that the weather is very fair. And uh, so please have a, fun, a lot of fun outside, you know, while, while, while you can before it starts to get really cold out there, okay? So Grover, wanna take it away with another one last joke? Hmm, okay. <clears throat> How does the ocean say goodbye? How does the ocean say goodbye? I'm not too sure. How? It rains! <laughs> okay, well, that's about all the time we have today, kids. Have a nice Dharma school season and study hard, okay? Remember, thank your socks. And gasho is the most important thing, most important posture you can learn in this life, all right? So please take care. And until next time, bye-bye. Please join me in Gasho. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits.